many other ways There's to show so respect many. my mind, respect my, my body, my soul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, like there's a whole yeah. list. You need to have the ambition. Yeah. You need to Are we going drive. there? Lead the family. Ooh, yeah, because yes. that's what a man is supposed to do. Lead the family. Yeah. Hey, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs>
I can handle, I think I can handle more business crimes than like, <laughs> you're like rough and tough killing people or you rape Drug someone. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, no, I can't deal with that. Yeah. Um, I want to know like, what constitutes a woman to be, or a man to be ride or die? Like, what do you have to do in order to be ride or die? Like, right. I mean, I think you gotta hold it down. Like, what, what is think, holding it down? Like, what all I think being entail? loyal. You have to be loyal to your mate. Yeah. But if you let me know up front, this is the kind of shit you're into. Not out of the blue yeah. now. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. Raiders running up in my house and you. Oh no! Going off Ain't nobody for that. Just like no, I won't speak to the cops. No. I don't tell what I know. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Like, that's the thing, too. Don't have me blindsided and I have no idea this is the lifestyle you live. But that might be best for you because now you don't know anything. So when no, the not. Do come Let to me you, know so I can make a decision to leave you. Don't force <laughs> me to be in this that's relationship true. with you not Thinking knowing. You're yeah. you one person. You yeah, want I think away. every day you go to work to be, like, businessman with your suit and tie. And it turns out you, like, ghost. biggest drug lord. <laughs> ghost. Yeah. Like, let me know so I can make that decision to not be with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't surprise me. That's yeah. really fair. Now right. I have to Coming to my house and I don't know nothing. No, yeah, yeah. no, because I'm gonna put your ass out there. <laughs> I'm gonna know everything I know. Okay, so question number two. Yes. Do you believe chivalry is dead? Is it important to you to have a chivalrous significant other? In our day and age, I believe it's dead. Really? I, I think you might find a few guys like far in between that. Are still chivalrous mm -hmm. that pull out your chair and yeah. you know hold the door and actually treat you like a woman he's like a gentleman yeah, yeah. I don't think it's dead I think it's dying though like I think That's the really yeah I think like the the rate we're going we don't have real men raising these boys to men True. it's like the guys are locked up like it's just not they're not being taught that, especially yeah. in African American community. Yeah, especially in African American community, like you don't have the father figure to show you right from wrong and teach you how to teach you how to be a man. Right, show you how yeah. to. Yeah, a, a woman, woman can't raise a man. You know, you can only do as much as a woman. Yeah, but I feel like men, young men growing up, they need a man in their life. If it's not their father, they need a an father uncle. figure, an uncle, or, right. grandfather, mentor. coach, someone yeah, who can yeah. mentor and show these boys like. The right way and how it's supposed to be done because unfortunately a lot of these young boys don't have it today and that right. goes for young women as well definitely i was gonna say not that. having well one not having your father around mm -hmm. is, we all know that i feel like that's mental yeah. yeah and then if you don't have your mother around like how do you learn to be a woman and then another sad thing is that the girls aren't seeing it so they don't know what to expect so they don't think that like oh it's important for a guy to open the door or do this or to treat yeah. them the right way because shit they probably ain't seen from their daddy or something you know like it's just mm -hmm. all around not just like the men being chivalrous like the women don't even expect it anymore because they don't That's even know what it sad. is yeah right they don't know what it is and then you have these single mothers again that are doing it on their own and so they're teaching their daughters that if all else fails, you can do it on your own. Right. You, don't need a man. you don't need a man. Which I don't think is a bad thing. No, I think yeah. women should definitely be independent. Right. But I think it's nice to have somebody that can do it for you, that can provide for you, that can support you. Right. And you don't have to carry that stress on you. As a woman, I need and want a man that's mm -hmm. going to be able to take care of me financially, to right. take care of your family, because that's what I saw growing up. Right. And that's all I know. So for you to come sideways with that's not how I know how to be, mm -hmm. then we can't work. There's a certain yeah, man and it's in, like, at this point in my life that I need. That's and right. And I feel like I've experienced kind of like both sides of it, dating somebody who um, maybe had their father around but not their mom and he was very chivalrous because of the other people in his life, grandparents and everything like that, who had a large influence on him. And I think that was great because he's probably the only person that I've dated that was that show is right. and then I've had the other side of it who've been raised by single moms and were still great men but I think you can see a difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah how was the one that was raised by a single mom um I think he was was he chivalrous when we were young <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes a difference also in age as well maturity but, yeah yeah no it definitely was like no disrespect in the relationship like mm -hmm. bitch open your own door like <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean anything. <laughs> 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 open the door from the inside. 
Yeah, no, really like, like, I think he was chivalrous, but the other guy was, I think, more chivalrous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that makes, makes any sense. sense. Yeah. Be treated like a woman, and I think it's very important that my partner shows that does that for me mm -hmm. and my daughter sees it as well and she gets the treatment too mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. open the door for her let her know like this is how you're supposed to be treated yeah mm -hmm. like that's Definitely. very important very important and that they know that they're not supposed to take bullshit from a man you know oh, yeah. yeah like the way guys talk to some guys talk to women oh, yeah no. or like just yeah. the blatant disrespect they, not, they, they know how to name. they know who to try though I think guys mm -hmm. definitely do know who to try with that. Yeah. Because I've never been called on my name. Yeah. Nobody in a relationship. At least not in my face. Yeah. I was right. right. Would. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Like, never. Yeah. And it's just like, women have to stop accepting that, but they have to stop thinking it's okay too. Because yeah. if they saw their father do it or their mom's Mom boyfriend. It. And yeah, you know, so now she doesn't think anything's wrong with it. It's like, you have to break that cycle definitely. on both sides. Definitely. Like, definitely. women stop accepting it, thinking that it's okay, and guys, stop doing it because it's not right. Like, talking to her How is this any kind of way. A woman, your woman, you had children by you, say you love this woman, but y'all get in an argument and you quit to call her a bitch and a hoe and all this. Like, I, like, like right. right. Do you love me? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not love. love. That's, not, that's not, not our definition of love. Because yeah. that's, like we said, that's not what we've seen growing up. We weren't up. raised that way yet. Yeah. I think it makes a difference also having both parents um, being together and still together. Still married. Mm -hmm. And seeing the way our dad treated our mom. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he opened the door. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like seeing that. It makes me want a real man who's gonna step up and do the same thing. Yes, yeah, I mean, not have a little to. boy where I have to train you to right. get the door for me Listen, and pull out my chair for me and stuff like that. You like have to match my daddy. You got some big shoes to fill. Like yeah. you have to. You need to have ambition. Like there's a whole yeah. list. You need to have ambition. <laughs> yeah. you need to Are we going ride. there? <laughs> no, I have, no, no. Wait, I have a question, and I would like, and it's a little off topic. But I feel like it kind of go hands in hand mm -hmm. with what we're speaking on. Okay. Um, what are requirements for like your your mate looking for somebody in the future? Like, what are your requirements? Because that's what you started saying. Like, you have to have ambition, which is uh -huh. very important. Very. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what else do you guys think are like non negotiables? You must financially stable. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a big one for me. I don't want somebody who's twenty thousand, fifty thousand dollars in debt and oh baby, we gonna work together to, to work our. You made it. Like so I have to help you with this debt, like right. You have to be driven. You have to want more out of life. You can't Absolutely. get complacent. That's like I'm working a nine to five and I'm fine. You know, like I want you to be like, you know what? I got this and it's good and we're comfortable right now. But I want more and we're gonna work for more. And I want a teammate. You know, yeah, like, I want to be partners. partners. Mm -hmm. I want us. Like, yeah, we have to coexist. Like, okay, I got you. I got this. Like, you got this. Like, we just have to mesh well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, in all aspects. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, definitely. And then I think above all else, like, you must respect me. Like, oh, that yes. is absolutely like non-negotiable. It's not. Yeah. It's not happening. Yeah. If you do not respect me, right, if I don't right. feel like I'm being respected and. That doesn't even mean like he's calling you out his name, but there's so many other ways there's to show so respect. Respect my mind, respect my, my body, body, my soul. Yes. Right. Yes. My I dreams. Like, right. Don't, yes. like, don't laugh at me when I tell you my dreams or the ideas I have. Like, mm -hmm. I want you to be like, damn, babe, I never think about that. Yeah. But you know what? Mm -hmm. That shit could work. Let's yeah. get to it. Like, yeah. don't laugh. Like, that'll never happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> I keep, keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another top of the list is you got to be spiritual. Absolutely. I'm not going to say, one. yeah, religion Above and this and that. Else. Yeah, we don't have to have the same religion, but you have to be a God-fearing man. You have to have this, like, the spirituality to know, like, you know, there is a greater being and we are, you know, like, I mean, we just have to be on the same page there. Yeah. Like, I, well, like you just said, that you don't have to be the same religion. I'm kind of leaning towards like being the same religion mm -hmm. because I need us to bring up our children knowing one God, not yeah. your God and my God. That's and true too. That's but true. I, I mean, I was just thinking. I mean, I respect from, all yeah. religions, oh, but yeah. aside from like religion, just spiritual. Like, I want our kids to know. I don't want the person that's like, "Ain't no God. Don't be saying your grace." And you know, like, no, you know, like, oh. <laughs> like you know, like, just spiritual. You, you may not believe in the exact same God as I do, but you know that there's a we can raise our children to be spiritual. You I, know, and not. I believe, like, okay, yeah, we can agree to disagree about certain things, but like you said, it's important to me that I meet somebody who is traveling along the same path that I'm traveling yeah. on. Like, 
somebody who wants to grow their relationship with God, and somebody who's willing to pray with me when we're going through things, oh, when yes. we're not going through things. Um, with somebody me. who's going to lead our family. Lead the family. Ooh, yes. Because yes. that's what and a man is supposed to do. Lead the family. Yes. Hey, <laughs> not, nothing else to say. <laughs> yes. Lead the family. Lead the family. Like, that point blank period, You, the, the man that I married will lead my family. He will be, like... The I'm man. not going to say the head of the tail. Mm-hmm. We ain't going there. I'm just saying, like, he is the man, and I'm going to let my man be the be man. Be the man. That's, I want... That's a chivalrous man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I think that wraps up this episode of Candid Convos. I agree. So, yeah. Uh, guys, be sure to check us out every Sunday at 6 p.m. on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye.